Hey, what's up? This is Joel. I am the sole member of Yeva Bog. It's a black and death metal project from Seattle, Washington, the United States. Uh, the name Yeva Bog comes from a book called Lost Gods. It's written by the artist and author Brahm. Uh, the book is about a man's journey through the underworld, and Yeva Bog is a dead and forgotten spider goddess who is a semi-benevolent uh, figure that the protagonist meets in the book. So it's a great book. I would definitely recommend checking it out. My first EP just came out, my debut album. It's called King of the Worms. I recorded primarily at home. I rented a little bit of studio time, but uh, the majority of it I did right here. I uh, started writing it late last year, just got it out beginning of this month. Uh, thematically, deals with a lot of uh, death, redemption. Uh, I wrote it kind of coming out of a dark period of my life, getting sober for the first time, so it deals with a lot of those issues that I was dealing with then and uh, addressing the the difficulties in life and kind of trying to come through those. The cover art was done by my friend Adam Paulson. He's an awesome comic book artist. He has a comic called Knife Hits. You can check out his stuff on Instagram, Gloom Wolf Art. Uh, so I wanted to have an eight limb figure that represented the spider goddess Yevabog and uh, referencing the journey through the underworld is the emaciated figure reaching out towards the goddess. Uh, I had that idea and the artist did the rest. So thanks, Adam. I think being on a label can be very helpful for getting your music heard by more people. Uh, I think the distribution outlets that they have and especially the marketing connections that they have uh, as well as being able to get you on shows when shows are happening. Um, that being said, distribution is a lot different than it was a few years ago. I can sit here at my computer and get my music out to where anyone in the world can access it. So uh, there are absolutely benefits to having a deal, but uh, it's not completely necessary anymore. This is something I thought about quite a bit. I would absolutely love to do some live shows. Uh, I started this project as a solo endeavor, uh, partially because I wanted to have full creative control, uh, but also just because I didn't have anyone to work with at the time. Uh, that being said, if I were to meet those people and put it together, I love playing live shows, so that would be awesome. I don't have anyone lined up. If you live in Seattle, I want to play in Yevabog, hit me up. So for this one, I'm going to reference three albums. Uh, one, none of which are brand new. Uh, but the Hearts of No Light by Shamash, or Samash, or however you pronounce it. Uh, that album has grown on me a ton. I really love the production. It just sounds huge, so... Definitely, definitely love that album. Uh, the other ones, or the other two, I should say, uh, are a bit of an unpopular opinion, because I'm going to say I like both of the new albums by both versions of Batushka. Uh, I know the one version gets a lot of hate, but I think it has some, uh, some qualities that are different and make it unique from the other, and I don't know who's right in their feud, so I just enjoy both albums. The most obvious response to this is that there are no live shows at the moment, uh, which is disappointing. I think metal is uh, ideally experienced live. There's nothing quite like being totally smashed with full volume metal, but uh, 
That being said, the silver lining, I think, for someone like me who isn't doing live shows anyway, is that it puts me on a little bit more of an equal footing uh, to get my music heard because I'm not competing with uh, people who are putting out albums and doing live shows right now. All right, so this question, I thought about it a lot, and uh, this one's pretty difficult for me to answer. Uh, I can't speak to the experience of the black community in the United States. Uh, I can say that I support Black Lives Matter. I support the demilitarization and reformation of our police. Um, Beyond that, I'm not, I wouldn't say I'm really in a place to speak to their experience. Uh, I will say that between the epidemic, the protests, the riots, the sociopathic president, uh, tensions are high. But it, there's a feeling that change is coming, and I hope uh, hope some serious changes will happen that will benefit a lot of people. So. All right, to end this up on a less serious topic, uh, plans for the future. Right now I'm just working on upgrading my gear. Uh, I have a tiny bit of electronics experience, so I've been uh, working on trying to build some of my own stuff. This little thing right here uh, is a passive summing mixer that I built uh, based on a design from DIYRE, and then I am also building a GSSL bus compressor from PCB Grinder, and uh, I'm sure I'll get some new guitars or something before the next record uh as far as the next record i'm going to start trying to write probably in september uh for a full length that will hopefully come out sometime next year so thanks for watching and have a good one